what we have been doing so far is printing things to the screen or doing output in Ruby. When we hold a piece of information and give it a name, that's called creating a variable. Besides just writing out information that goes in the variable, we can also feed the program information and that's called queuing input. Let's go ahead and work a little bit. Work a little bit more with variables and input as well as output. So now I'm here in the workspace and I have the name up here. I'm printing hello and then I'm printing the variable name that has Sebastian inside. So if we try to run the program again, just Ctrl L for clean the bash for clean the console. Ctrl L. So okay, so if we run the program again, um, Ruby hello.rb, just you notice that hello and Sebastian are in different lines, different lines. So if I want to print them in the same line, I could do a couple of different things. I could take this out here and say hello. And then I can space and put a pound key then open curly braces close them and then type the name of the variable in this case name also I'm going to write to type an exclamation point here let's run the program again and see what happens okay oh I forgot to save so control s save okay now run the file and voila so now hello is printed, is printed in the same line as Sebastian and the exclamation point now what we can do is get the input as well so instead of saying name equals J name equals Sebastian I'm going to say name equal gets so raise this and gets Now you'll notice when we print something out, it's called puts or, or put to the screen. When we get the input, we are saying get screen or string. This kind of variable is a trip. So now if I tab Ruby and hollow.rb again and press enter, you notice the cursor is blinking. It's blinking because it's asking the value of the name variable so I need to, to type my name here and what I type here is the value that is gonna be saved inside the variable and then it's gonna be printed here so I type Sebastian press enter and if you see hello Sebastian was printed so let's go ahead and make this a little bit friendlier by prompting the user for some information we can do that by saying print and then the information we want so I'm gonna type please enter your name so enter and then say print and then quotes and then please enter your name and I'm gonna create a column, column here okay save okay so let's save the file and then type clear for clean the screen okay and then just try to to run the file again ruby hello.rb and if you see it asks now it shows the the string I use here to to the print statement please enter your name so I just print I use I mean I just type my name if I press enter it print the name hello Sebastian you can try with different input and different text here um, just try a little bit and 
we had prepared a quiz the link is in the description of the video or in an annotation here in the video don't forget to follow us on twitter i'm sebastian villandia uh, race karate in twitter race karate in facebook always keep your name racekarate.com and of course subscribe to our channel so we finished our first stage called how ruby works the next video is gonna be the first video of our next stage called ruby strings and the first video is gonna make an introductory video of what are the strings in ruby and much more